Well, hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. How is Hopefully everybody you doing? Can see something on this. Um, I'm not seeing nothing. It's a lovely black screen at the moment, folks. Yeah, well, I'll just uh, rectify that. <laughs> Seriously. Right. GG game, GG. Yeah. Well, welcome to the the stream at the moment. Yeah, welcome to the uh, black <laughs> screen stream that we have right here. Yeah, we will get no. this. We'll get this sorted in just a moment. So. Normal service will resume momentarily. There we go. <laughs> oh yes technology you've got to love it haven't you welcome oh, yes welcome everybody um, to uh, train simulator 2019 yes, indeed uh, we are taking a class 150 on the uh, Portsmouth direct line. We're going to Hazelmere and then we're coming back from Hazelmere. That is the plan. Allow passengers to board here before setting off. All right, so let's get into... Our cab. I'd like to get into the cab. Okay. Normally I would be streaming as well, folks, but uh, I've currently got a hole on the side of my face, so I don't really want to show that to people. Else. To people, <laughs> 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 You've got a hole in the yeah. yeah. Pop the spot, they said. It would be fun, fun they said. Is. Yeah, well, they lied. Turns out the spot was not a spot at all. So we're going to let people on, I'm going to set this thing uh, to forward, there we go. Uh, oh. Looks like we're already lit, let's have a look, we're lit, we're lit already. There's not a heck of a lot to do in this train. What I really need to do, and what I really want to do at some point is to pick up the uh, Armstrong Powerhouse uh, 450 Enhancement Pack. Uh-huh. Because I think the cab will, will be a lot more clickable at that point, and the sounds are going to be better. Well, if it makes it more realistic, then yeah. Yeah. I've never had any, you know, any complaints with anything that Armstrong Power has to come out with. So yeah. Enhancement pack wise. Oh, we seem to still be on a red here. So we may be waiting a little bit. Unfortunately, it seems to be a foggy day, so there's probably not a heck of a lot that we can see. A bit pea soupy over there. <laughs> it's a bit pea soupy, yeah. Ah, oh, and we're clear to depart. Oh god. Zero wine as it sets off. Oh, 
but they're not going too fast. We're gonna lose points. There we go. The main purpose of doing this route is to try and improve because I've, I've done this one before and got pretty much absolutely nothing for it. <laughs> what are you sober at the time? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, the main thing with it's these these trains, these these one uh, fifties, they accelerate like a bat out of hell. But when it comes to stopping, their brakes are made of feta cheese. Feta cheese? Yes. So... <laughs> they, <laughs> they, they do not like stopping. At all. I would have said they're a bit more like a Weasley deal. So, well, possibly. Yeah, that would do the same. That would probably have the same effect. Oh god, that would be a turn there. Oh, nearly. Ever so slight crash there. So, how is everybody doing this fine evening? How are we all, folks? Good, I hope. Good. I hope we're all good, yet. Yeah. It does make life a lot easier. It <laughs> 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 just had to be a fucking day for God. I mean, it could be, this, it is could actually, be raining. this is actually quite nicely showing off the Armstrong Powerhouse Sky and Weather Enhancement Pack. Um, with this foggy effect going on here. Oh my God. If guys are wondering, I'm playing BMNG right now, and I've just gotten a bus that has 24,000 brake horsepower okay, and 78,000 pounds of torque. That, that, as soon as you put your foot down, your prop shaft's gonna break. <laughs> well, there is that opportunity, I suppose. It weighs 70,000 pounds. A universal joint can only hold so much, surely. Yeah. And it does not <laughs> stay in 2.1 seconds. I can't do the math, but I'm sure that it sounds ridiculous. Redonculous! Yeah, redonculous is a good word. I like the word. Oh my god, uh, yeah, 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 it, it wheelies. I just wheelied off the cliff. I'm still rolling. Stop, still, still rolling. <laughs> yeah. Still rolling. Better whack those brakes. Oh, broke some in. We are coming into Godalming. Godalming. Platform 2. Very historic place, Godalming. Okay, so I've opened up the Look at that break! It's more like wood than an break, I suppose. Braking's really weird on these trains. They've actually got it sorted with um, the, the later version of uh, Portsmouth, Portsmouth bleh, I can't speak. Portsmouth Direct Line uh, Waterloo to Portsmouth. Um, which they they've redone the uh, 150 uh, the 450 so that it uh -huh. actually has more realistic braking physics and all that ah, see on your YouTube thing I John not actually be able to stop here. Well, that's now guys what what no, you're watching right now of shoot this platform because the brakes John... are still made of cheese See 
John does tend to go I'm past just doing like a 40 miles an hour and put the brakes on full and it's still as overshooting. Are they just are they heavy trains maybe? No, they're just the braking physics on these things are completely out. Oh, right, okay. And I can't go more than 81% brakes because otherwise it goes straight into emergency. Ah. Yes. What were you saying about YouTube? Huh? YouTube? Yeah, you said something about my YouTube channel. Oh. Um. Yes. Have you got it set that you're streaming? You know on your YouTube bit it says like what game you have, have you done that? Yeah, I, I, I put um, Heading to Hazelmere in it. I but did you put in that it was Train Sim that you were playing? TS19. Yeah, I bet on the... Yeah, on YouTube, yeah, I put it in there. Ah. Yeah. Why, is it not showing? No, I was just wondering, because like, see if people type in um, Train Sim 19, it'll come up your thing. You know, like you put the the game title, then you can t like, put in the game that you're playing? Oh, I don't know. If you look on your dashboard, it may say. Two seconds, folks. Go check something. Enjoy. Well, I put it in, but it just blanked it out as soon as I said hit enter. I'll tell you what about it then. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. Game title updated. Let's hit the tracks. And as we head to Milford. Go past break, another break, one. Break, 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 break. Nah, we'll be alright. We'll be alright from Milford. Oh, God. 
Yeah, we'll make this. Ah. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, I don't know why I wave to AI. I really don't. That's, that, 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 that's, that's the bus driver in me. Another one passes, I have to raise my hand and say, Hi! anyway. How I'm late, I don't know. I've got it, yeah. I'm currently playing with drive, drive cars. That's fun. Ah. What, what broke? <laughs> and there we go with... Uh... I didn't open the front door. You see, I'd have, I'd have released those doors. They're on the platform, I'd have released them. Just because the, the nose of the train is slightly off the edge of the platform, I would have still have opened those. I'd, I'd have still released those doors. That's, that's a slightly annoying mechanic with train simulator. Right. Surprised and waiting at the crossing. I have been, I have played scenarios where you're approaching a, a level crossing, and the, uh -huh. the barriers are clearly down, but the uh -huh. AI is still just sort of glitching through them, <laughs> going straight across in front of you, and you're thinking like, you rip you. <laughs> Oh, I made a fateful mistake this um, today. Fatal mistake. Oh, big fatal mistake today. A fatal error has occurred. Uh, big one. So what happened, guys, was that I don't know if I've said before, but I don't have the best. Um, Shall we say best? Uh, I'm trying to think how you got like. <laughs> I have a fear of heights, right? All oh, right, yeah. So you don't deal with heights too well. Mm, not good at all. Yeah. So today, I was obviously working, and without even realising. It's quite amazing to me that uh, basically I was walking over a bridge. I was too engrossed in what I was doing that I didn't realise that I was walking across a really high bridge. Um, the one that goes over the river, Gary. Okay. Pardon me, which it's not massive. Enough, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty high. <laughs> so, yeah, Just I so got halfway across and I was sitting basically working away, and then all of a sudden, a few big uh, wagons or lorries went across, and the bridge was obviously sh being shaken up and down. Yeah, it wasn't good. At that point, I was clinging on for dear life onto the railing. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't good. Not my most, uh, not the most uh, bravest point of my life, if I have to admit. 
No, that 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 that, that probably wouldn't be very pleasant at all. I hope you don't get it after after work on the Frighton Bridge. I'll, I'll refuse. That, that that's higher than it needs to be. It's more that the fact that yeah, it's really high, John, but it also has a sh shitty, really shitty crash barrier. That I'm sorry if any lorry or bus or anything like that hits that, there's there's nothing. <laughs> they're not stopping. They're they're going straight through it. Yeah. Do you remember? And then having a uh, some years ago, we had some really strong winds uh -huh. over the Frighton Bridge, and I, I, I don't think it, it, it wasn't an Arctic, but it was like a, a rigid body. Uh huh. Um, had got uh, blown over. Oh, oh you're joking! And it was just lying. It, it was just. Lent over on the on those railings on the side there. I mean, I think that I think the driver must probably had to go home and change his underwear. I mean, I, yeah. I, I would have. You know, it's like, <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I would. I would. I'd probably just that would be me game over at that point. I have to be honest. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably. I wouldn't be surprised if that's similar to what he was going through his mind at that time. And so, right, I'm gone. I'm dead. <laughs> I don't know if I would be one of those people that would jump it. You know, before well, I actually just hits. watch what door you jump out of. Uh, we're approaching right. Hazelmere, which is as far as we'll go. There's a first, there's a fast service coming north, uh, which will pass us here. After it's exchanged passengers, you'll be cleared to depart for the return trip. Return trip. For the return again. Whoa. What's up? AWS. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> AWS making noises again. make a heck of a lot of points in that. So let's set that. Yeah, well there's no off. But right, okay, so we'll just do that. Uh, tail lights. And jump to the other end. Lights on to headlights. And we're pretty much there, that's all we've got to do. I will just creep forward to these this red light. So creep forward, please. <laughs> creep forward now. No creep. Creep now. <laughs> creep. Just creep. Thank you. In case the folk are wondering what that noise is, it's, it's my wheel. It's yes. came because I'm going 230 miles an hour. Unusually today, I'm not using my wheel. <laughs> As 
so I'm guessing this is what we're waiting for. A double 450. That probably takes twice as long to stop. See, you've gone right on past, haven't you? See ya. Bye. Right. <laughs> Oh, no, we, sympathy, no, yeah. single yellow. Welcome to the channel of no sympathy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we don't have sympathy here. Yeah. Sympathy? That's silly. That's silly now. Silly. Silly, silly. silly. <laughs> <laughs> wonder if anybody got that joke there. Uh, I'm, I'm, sure it, I'm sure it's been picked up by someone. So far. We've got a long downhill going on here, so <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch my speed. Ooh, a bit of a buzz going on on your end. <laughs> I don't know why. I do apologise guys if that's coming through. I don't know what's causing that. I don't know if it's coming through or not, it's just it hits in my ears. Got an adverse signal coming up ahead of me. Let's do signals. Let's do uh, signals. Let's do uh, war and oh. That's a single yellow, so I'm going to put as much braking as I'm allowed without going into an emergency and just slow it right down. And stop before we pass. <laughs> and hopefully stop. And I'm also going downhill, so that's not going to help matters. <laughs> Our next stop is our next station stop is Whitley. Whitley platform one. Whitley Bay. Well, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe is it a coastal place? Whitley? I don't know Whitley at all. So, is it coastal? No idea. None whatsoever. Green. Right, so let's put the power back on. Power! Let's go. <laughs> I still can't see anything. It's foggy. It's actually it's more foggy than it was before. I'm sure it is. <laughs> I'm sure that, that fog has got thick. Is it me? Is it my imagination? Is that fog got there? No idea. I can't even see the back of the train now. You haven't just detached it by accident. Speeding! Alright, let's slow down. <laughs> oh my god. Stop losing points! Stop it at once! Stop it! Stop it! Silly. Silly. Losing points is silly. <laughs> Whitley coming up. Slowing for Whitley. Delay. 
Silly, silly, silly. Okay, so this time I, I I was going to be stopping a little bit short. So yeah, how does this even work? Oh, oh, I don't know. Okay, we're in. And we're actually in Whitley early. So go figure that one. Been running late all the way up to Hazelmere and then coming back. I'm now running early. That makes no sense. <laughs> That made no sense at all. That's what I'm getting. Sound a little bit. You sound like oh, sorry. I was gonna say because when you were speaking there, it actually did sound like you were. Uh, um, doing some Mongolian throat music there. Um, yeah, the throat music's quite good, actually. Mm. <laughs> I do agree. There's a rock band called Tui. It's really good. I thought that was uh, a travel agent. Yeah, they are also. <laughs> I don't know who trademarked who though. <laughs> yes. I'm trying to find the Time fastest for a car. Beverage. A what? A bijou beverage. What the frickin' Jesus is that when I say? A little drink. A bijou ah, beverage. Okay. Oh yeah. A bijou beverage. Beverage. <laughs> <laughs> it's empty. It's also empty. Beer glorious. Beer. Aha! Aha! Yes. You know when you take too much of a mouthful? And it goes up your nose? No, it just about came out my nose if I've got to be honest. That was pretty close. <laughs> yep, that was very good. I'm keeping a little bit of an eye on the speed right now. How fast are you going? Um, 85 at the moment. Well, I'm going, dropping down to 80 because we've got uh, an 80 coming up. Also on a downhill, so, well, that's not I'm actually now going slightly uphill. So I could try and keep it around about the 80 mark without without AWS. Thank you. And we've got a 60 coming up as well. So I'm gonna haul it back. Haul it. Haul it. Haul it. The main reason, and the only real reason, is 
I like pushing levers around. <laughs> I could be F3 like that and just do it with the the keyboard. I do apologize, guys. I'm playing my modded vehicle and just disintegrated yeah. that point a little bit. I do apologize. <laughs> oh my god, that, that literally just broke the game, I think. <laughs> I think cars don't like to be going over 400 mile an hour while it's standing still. God, I do apologize for that. <laughs> oh, I won't be doing that again, Harry. So yeah, I can draw. I could drive it like this on the F3 HUD, but because I like, I like pushing levers. That's me. I like pushing levers. So I put the F4 HUD up, and and I put I I I, I move the sliders up and down, and, and it it feels good. It's, it's immersive for me anyway. That'll be the doors closing. <laughs> I'm not doing very well. I should have, I should have loads of points in that So we're looking at Farncombe. And Guilford, yeah, I'm not gonna get him. I'm not gonna get much for this. <laughs> Which is weird. Oh, there's really, a slow motion this thing, thing in this. This thing, thing. Oh yeah, there's always been a slow motion thing in BMG. There's always been that. Even from What's the up? early days. So you can watch the soft body physics just sort of crumple and, sort of and all that. It's really I don't I know this. This is just opened up loads more to the game. Alt left. I don't know how you get the slow motion, but I know that it is because I've seen it on video. It's working. Years, years back when when it was actually still quite an early game, early access and that sort of stuff that had the slow motion. Oh my god, I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. I will stop, but I won't stop with many carriages on the platform. Oh, this thing and its cheese brakes! Oh, this thing and its cheese brakes! Oh my god. Have you just went past another? Oh my god, I've just found loads of new parts to this game! Did you believe this? Oh my uh, god! If you want it off, you'll have to go to the back train. <laughs> the front one's not opening doors. <laughs> oh, this is not going for. This is not going well. Friday <laughs> <laughs> night. Can't complain. Friday night and uh, I, I don't even know the words to that one. Da, 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 da. You know what I was singing earlier the other day when I was coming home in the mm -hmm. uh, when I was coming home in the my uh, car. Yes. Yeah, in your car. Yes, when I was coming home in my car earlier on. What, what did you oh. come home in? On, on your What's bicycle this? or your, 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 your Honda Vespa or your Vespa or your... Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, anyway, so I was coming home you know, and thinking about um, Blue Dabba Diva came on and I sung it word for word and I freaking surprised myself somehow. I don't know why. As soon as you hear a tune, it gets stuck in your head. 
Yeah, we'll go with you that one. I mean, Baby Shark, you were going on for for, for, for weeks. I do have a four-year-old in my defense. <laughs> baby Shark, do 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 do. Oh, baby joy. Shark, do 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 do. Baby Shark, do 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 do. Baby Shark, do 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 do. Go on then. Confused. <laughs> I just thought I'd help you along the way. <laughs> I mean, it's not as though that's going to get stuck in your head again. I wouldn't put it past that. I mean, you could say, like, uh, hey, hey, what do you say? Little, little, little tweeties! Fuck! No! We made it, 75. Tanking them all. Oh, there's a 25 coming up, I better, yeah. Doing what these cheese breaks are like, I'd better oh! stop. <laughs> fucking hell! A fucking uh, moth! Oh my god! I did. Well, there, go, there goes my plan to keep this stream PG. Oh, <laughs> did I swear? I'm so sorry! This freaking massive moth just landed on my screen and then flipping it. It took a second, I was like, what's that? And then just as it clicked like what it was, it flew up my face. <laughs> <laughs> God almighty. I thought something oh. exciting had happened in your game. No. I wasn't expecting a moth. That was a moth. <laughs> horrible, horrible, horrible moth. Oh Jesus God. That's not good for you that. Yeah, that's another thing that bugs me about Train Sim is where you are Moths. Well, moths, well, yeah. Oh, they should have them. But <laughs> it's so Oh my god, honestly, John, you should see the size of this, guys. It is literally about. about no far off the size of. Get away from my beer. Oh my get god. Get away from my beer. <laughs> honestly, this thing I is you, massive. Fife that. Oh, you got tennis ball sized moths in. in, uh, oh. <laughs> in Fife. Oh! The thing's attacking us! It's a moth. I don't know what to do. Yeah, go in my beer bottle. Go in my beer bottle, then I'll fucking stick you in. Go in. Put the arse on the eyes. Go. Get in. Ah! <laughs> 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 oh my god, I just tried to push it in and it pushed me back. It pushed you back. I well, I had a. I, a what uh, kind of moth is this? Uh, a fucking. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's massive. <laughs> They're just like nighttime butterflies. Look at them at night. Nighttime butterfly, my backside. This thing's <laughs> massive as it is. If we go silent, you know it's cocooned as. Has it got teeth? Lose it. It might do. <laughs> Keeps it's coming from there anyway. Size, it's got teeth. Oh man. I don't want to win it, let go. <sighs> Back. That's why you need this thing. Yeah. Oh that hangs that hangs a bug thing. back like oh. Yeah. Oh I think it's a can even complete. Wait, two seconds guys. I'm gonna go and try and get this with someone. Well it kills us. <laughs> It's been a cold day, but you can now take a well-earned break with a hot cup of coffee. 
Guys, this is hilarious. We've got to listen to this. Oh, I think I've had enough trauma for today. <laughs> Sick. You, insects seem to like you, don't they? Oh. Uh, talking of, I told you yesterday I got a, another insect decided to go for a little feed on my leg. Well, it wasn't yeah, really my leg, but... Another... Yeah. Well... This, the, yeah. When, when you're walking through the long grass, or freshly cut, as you say, yeah, the, the, they're looking for... They're looking for somewhere to cling on to, aren't they? Oh, they clung. Yeah. They thought they'd cling a wee bit harder and sink their teeth into me and then suck my blood. They're not leeches. The little bisms that they are. Oh, well, I bisms. Okay, Horrible. so here we find out if I've actually got any XP. No, no XP at all. That was a that was another bronze bronze that I got the last time. So what did I get last time? Seven three six. <laughs> I've actually got about a hundred points less this time than I did the last time I played this scenario. <laughs> it's maybe the moth. There you go. GG for that one. So we'll go and have a look at the, a career scenario. We'll make use of some Armstrong powerhouse uh, great, good stuff. Really good stuff. Uh, I would like to point out that the Tweenie song is now stuck in my head. Oh. It's not stuck in mine. Yeah. Hey, hey, what, what do you say? say? Come along and play what? with the tweenies. <laughs> See, I've done this one before. But I did this one before, but there was no sound to it. Oh. Um, the black and red high-speed train from, Ab from Aberdeen to Plymouth, but you're going from Dundee to Edinburgh. What do you reckon? Should I give it another shot? Yeah, go for it. Because this thing, it's all about the sound. Oh, it sounds so good. I will do uh, an American route and I will do a German route as well. I'm actually getting quite into the German uh, roots. With... Ah, that is very good, yeah? Very ah, good. Yeah, very good. Um, uh, getting used to the PZB. Kind of got it figured out, but it still, <laughs> it still catches me out from time to time. And LZ, LZB is good. LZB is just... Well, it, 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 it's like ATO, it just drives the train itself, and I, I can just sit, sit back and do nothing except, except acknowledge the incredibly naggy SIFA, uh, which is like a, a driver vigilance device thing. If you don't, 
If you don't acknowledge it, every 30 seconds it puts the brakes on. Oh, that sounds awesome. Yeah. <gasps> but today, or tonight, it's going to be an HST, an Intercity 125. Armstrong Powerhouse Enhancement Pack for the Valenta HST. So it's the noisy bugger. And I'm hoping, really hoping, that the pack is, in, is installed. Look at this. I did reinstall it, I did update it, and I did reinstall it, so it should be working. We will find out. We will find out. I love that cologne. Wait, thank you. Yes. <laughs> which, yes, which cologne is it? Uh, Eau de Moon Grass or? You, you did too late. <laughs> oh, Eau de Moz. <laughs> <laughs> It does take a long time, guys, for this this to load on my because I've I've got it on an HDD because my SSD is just not big enough to carry train sim with everything else on it. Not with the amount that I've got on this, <laughs> it's quite ridiculous. Guys, the uh, Steam Summer Sale has not long left to go. If you haven't gone in there and uh, checked it out, see if there, there may be st stuff there uh, that you don't need, but you're you gonna don't buy. need, but you want. <laughs> uh, and there are some pretty reduced prices going on there right now. If you'll head along to the Steam Sale. Um, it's about to finish, I think it finishes tomorrow. I've got a few good things in it. Noon UK time, but uh, so you've got a couple of uh, you've got a few hours yet to, to grab something at bargain price. Unfortunately, there's very little on train simulator that I haven't got that I want. <laughs> so, I've not actually got anything myself from the Steam Tail this time. But of course, they have regular sales, so if you miss this sale, it's not a big deal because there'll be another one along shortly. It's like, it's They're like, always it's in like sales. Buses. You wait for ages for one and then three come along at once. LOL! Uh -huh. Kappa. <laughs> That North Norfolk Southern N line, I've got that. And I've played a few scenarios, but to be honest, I got fed up with travelling along at about 25, 30 miles an hour the whole time. Uh, DVD, driver vision device isolated, ATP isolated. Well, there's no ATP on this train. Uh, uh, this is our train, anyway. This is what this is what we're going to be jumping into. And the, indeed, it is the Armstrong Powerhouse uh, Class Forty Three Valenta Enhancement Pack. So we'll jump in. I'll activate visual alarms. So in case we're outside and. Uh, warning goes off. I better open the doors actually. And I will also put the DSD on the DVD. And control D. That's the one. So I'm going 
gonna put this thing into uh, neutral. Cancel the AWS. Warning there. Over here we've got our lights. I'm gonna turn these mar these tail lights off, and I'm gonna put <coughs> right hand side headlights on. I'm also going to put the marker lights on. So, looking at the front now, it should be... There we go. Awesome. We're looking for. Okay, so I'm going to jump in there, and now I'm going to go to the back of the train. Because I need to put the uh, tra electrical supply on. And you'll notice the RPM is a thousand at the back and at the front it's 750. When you put the uh, when you put the uh, ETS, the electronic train supply, the electrical train supply, it just powers everything up, puts the lights on and all that and gives power to everything. Uh, the car that we put it on, which is usually the rear one, Ups, it, ups its revs. Okay, so there we go. We're, we're all set. I'm going to go outside because you guys, you've got to hear this. We're good to go. So I'm going to put some power on. Not a lot. First thing to do is to put it into notch one and let the amps build up and then notch it forward. Being a Valenta, it needs a bit of a kick up the backside, so I'm going to put it into notch three. <laughs> and we'll release the brakes and away we go. This pack is all about the sound, really. Really, unfortunately, you do not get these anymore. Well, the HSTs. Yeah, well, you don't. You get the HSTs, but you don't get the Valenta anymore. Oh, is that the one? The bend, the one that went around went corners. No. Um, once it go around the corner, the, the tilts around the corners. You're looking at the Voyagers. The what was the one that, yeah, what was the one that, like, all the reporters got sick on it? Oh, that's the APT. The, the what, sorry? The Advanced Passenger Train, the APT. Uh, seriously. Look, I just cancelled that. Stop it. Um... Yes, the APT, the Advanced Passenger Train, and from what I understand, the reporters were half cut anyway, and so they were already giddy. Mm, not really fair, is it? It just didn't really uh, go in the favour of the of British Rail at the time. Nice little bit of flag coming through there. Oh, nice. station stop is Lucas. I mean this is very uh, familiar to me and, and to Dave as well because we're both in very similar areas. Yep, you can actually probably see my house from there. And realistically if you could. And you had a good set of binoculars. If I do an over the head shot, I'm not sure that Riverside, actually Riverside might bend like that. 
<laughs> Riverside Drive. It might actually bend like that because it does go around playing fields. So I'm going to slip it into notch four now and just listen to this. That does sound good. It's worth a bit of speeding for that. That is worth a little bit of speeding. There are a couple of workers just to the left of us coming up here. There was actually, for what I heard on the video today, there was a couple of. Blow me horn. I'm pretty sure there was a couple of actual real workers killed yesterday of today. There's the fellas. Day. Yeah. The reason they were killed because they had ear defenders on while working on the railway. Oh no. Rookie now, mistake. Well no, they were following procedure. Well, but normally I think they're supposed to have a what a, a lookout. Well that's as, as you'll know, I used to go to school every day on the train. Yeah. And... The, one of the things that they did, I mean, I don't know if that was just in the days of British Rail, whatever, but one of the things that they did was one of the... One of the workers had like a... A horn? A reed horn? Yeah. And they'd be on the lookout for oncoming trains. So if a train yeah. appeared, it would mm. blow the signal like, <laughs> and they'd all just stand to the side of the track. Because yeah. I mean, this was like like a trumpet. Yeah. I mean, it was like I don't know. I don't know if you know. I, I says. It's like a reed organ pipe, uh -huh. which is they on their own they're pretty loud, and as they blow through it, the reed would vibrate loud, and they'd all hear it and they'd move across, and the train yeah. would come past, they'd wave to it, and then they'd get back on with it. But well, I haven't seen anyone with any of those for years. Yeah, see what they would have, because my dad used to be a structural glazer and he did the roof on Haymarket and he also did the roof on Aberdeen train station. And when they were working on a live line, they used to have these things that they were attached to the line and they were like little bits of dynamite kind of thing. And what would happen is when the train went over it would make an almighty bang, not enough to break the line or the they laid them, laid them out in three, so they go like, yeah. bang, bang, bang! Aye, As so the they knew over. then, yeah. oh, that's such and such. There's a train coming. Yeah. There's a train coming, let's go off the line. So I don't... I, well, that's I, a very... Uh, that's a very... Uh, old thing that, that, that they used to do. Um, yeah. Particularly with semaphore signals. Before they uh -huh. didn't have any sort of like AWS, you know, warning in the cab. Uh -huh. So if there was something, an obstruction on the line or some, or something like that, they would put these uh, explosive tabs on the track. Yeah. Then when the train went over it, the driver would hear bang, 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 and then know they had to slow down and had to, uh, there was something up ahead, so we'd have to come to a stop. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. 
Yeah. Because like oh, when we like yeah. for example, I work on the roads and it's like we have when we get our helmets, we have ear de defenders built into our helmets. However, because we're road workers, we we'll we inspect the road. <laughs> no, it's not because we're working on a live road. And personally, I don't trust no one's driving on the road. Mm -mm. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's just one of those like how would I put it? Like, like the the operations guys, like the road builders, they wear them, but they're working on a a basically a like a closed road in a way. Or a closed lane, so it's not as bad, and they are using heavy machinery. However, I, I think I think there's obviously been a few things that it's had to have gone wrong for this to happen. What is It's the turbo noise. <laughs> I don't know, it's just something really, really satisfying. That it, it makes me smile from ear to ear every time I hear this. Are they still with them in operation, John? We've still got the HSTs, but we haven't got... They don't make this sound anymore. Oh. It's such a are shame. The are the diesel electrics now? Yeah, but... Well, this, these are diesel electrics as well. Um, as you can see, they got 1500 RPM and 1200 amps. Oh, okay. So the the the, the engine is charge, oh, charging. Charging. Yeah. Well, it's also. Oh God! Slow down! Slow down! Slow down! Slow down! Slow down! Slow down. The engine is charging. Um. But it's also giving some thrust as well. Oh. But if we go through it. When you go through a tunnel or something, you can you can hear the traction motors going as well. So that's. That's cool, like. That was an awesome sound. See, I, I, I'm I one of those people I just love, like, see, for example, the mechanical, like, turbo noise, or, like, all the older trucks and stuff. Love it. Absolutely love it. And it's the same way, like, trains and that. I appreciate the engineering that goes into it. And how they sound and stuff like stuff just doesn't sound like that anymore. Proper grunting and you know, like they really don't, do they? Even cars nowadays aren't the same. No, I mean, I, 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 I did, I did a whole stream on this road on our other channel, uh -huh. and. I had no audio. Um, so I thought, well, do you know what? This whole, this whole, this whole thing is, about, is about the audio. You know, and, and no, what a waste. You know, I mean, it looked good, and I talked my hind legs off through the whole thing, but. It's, <laughs> You don't want to sit there listening to me the whole time. <laughs> when this thing sounds so awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh god, Lucas. Right, okay. <laughs> Power off. I'm just going to let it roll now. No! 
in, in. Thank you. I'm really ham fisted when it comes to keyboards sometimes. I hear about three buttons at once. <laughs> <laughs> Step Why is it silly one? Step five braking. Which is pretty standard. It sounds a lot, but it's pretty standard. And I'll take it down That's to step three. Talking of that line, I actually seen a very large uh, um what do you call it? Uh, it was some sort of tanker, like right? yeah, it must have had about thirty wagons on it going over the day bridge the other day. I know I had one train pool on it. Which I was quite surprised at. I wonder what it was. I don't know if it was maybe oil or whatever. Or 66 or something like that. I mean, they're, they're, they're pretty strong workhorses. Yeah. Oh, Muffet! Way. I used to work for that company. You did indeed. I actually worked for that company and the other company was sitting there. Was that stagecoach in there as well? Wasn't yeah, it? yeah. I did notice the Moffat one because it's it's got that distinctive beige colour about it. Yeah, like old mouldy kind of stained by tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Oh, you've got one subscriber now. Have I got a subscriber? You do. What? It's me. Oh, it's you. <laughs> well, thank you very much for subscribing. Much appreciated. No problem. If you hit hit the notification bell and it'll let you know any time that I stream on this channel. <laughs> failed? Why is it failed? Oh, because I'm considerably later than I should be. Right, okay. Well, that's not my fault, because I, I was talking. Build up the amps. And then stick it into notch three. If anyone's interested, it's 43102. 43102? 43102, that's our uh, leading car number. Ah, by well, fleet number then? Huh? Yeah, kind of like a fleet number, I suppose. Uh, it's a, it, it, yeah, you got your class number at 43, and then it's 102. Oh, your, your, your class 43 stop. Oh, you got a love of turbo wine, haven't you? Nothing beats that. There's no one this earth beats like even. Somebody who doesn't like cars, I mean, there's a, like, a really quite a powerful car goes past for turbo noise, like, it does sound brilliant. Shhh! Um, it sounds like that beats it. If I turn it off, if, if I shut it off, oh, let's do that wind down. <whistles> that way. And then straight back into full power, just listen to this. That's 
sound good that. Oh, it gives me tingles. It gives me tingles <laughs> all the way down. Oh. Does it give me the fuzz? Oh, yeah, but it, uh, in, in my fizzy root thing. It gives. <laughs> 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 Thank you, James May. Yes. <laughs> I couldn't believe he said that. His fizzy root thing. His fizzy root thing, yes. Well, that was back in the days of Top Gear, when he talked about shit. I think it was a Dacia Sandero or something like that. And oh, they, they did tingle in his fizzy root thing. That, that man has serious issues if that's, that can give him the fizz. Oh, he loves his Dacia Sandero. Cooling fans. Speeding. You speeding? Never. Yeah, that doesn't happen. Does it. That? Well, they didn't get me bloody Lucas, so I make damn sure I turn up on time in Lucas. Uh, in Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this sky scene here is part of the Armstrong Powerhouse Sky and Weather Enhancement Pack. It, it's it's a little bit bizarre because you've got the the hills over here reflecting the original sky, <laughs> so it looks a little bit odd. A bit of train sim that is a bit odd, never. Yeah. The thing is, train sim, as much as it is really good, it's like FSX, it's very dated now. Like, graphically, like... It's using quite an old, it's using a very old engine. Yeah. For it. But it's actually surprising what they've managed to do with it over the years. Oh yeah, it's still a very good game, I think. It's like Euro Truck, it captures the essence that you need, it doesn't have to be photorealistic. Exactly, yeah. If you if, if you want pretty much photorealism, then head across to Trains in World. How is that running nowadays? Oh, it's running fine. Really good. Yeah. I just don't think there's enough content for me anyway. There's not enough content and it's not open to uh, third party. Which I think is going to be its downfall if they don't sort that out fairly quick. Can modders just not like wing it and just put mods into the game? I don't know how they're going to work it. I mean, the next thing is to bring in the editor. They've been working on doing the editor. Uh huh. Personally. Because I don't create routes myself, I don't. Um, but would that not, it's, not it's open not, the? Not, would that not open the op op option there, like uh, Steam library or the Steam? Well, it modern? would. It would. But I, I, myself. And this is talking pers completely personally and completely selfishly. I would rather they opened it up to third party. Yeah. So the likes of Armstrong Powerhouse or Just Trains could do stuff for Trains in World. Uh huh. Because I don't, myself, I don't make routes. 
I don't I don't use the editor. I don't even use the editor on TS one. Uh-huh. Um So it doesn't matter to me personally whether they've got the editor going on or not. I'd rather they opened it up to third party. Mm-hmm. So the thing is, guys, like you, John, in regards to train sim, knows what he's talking about. You've got over two thousand hours, which is a ridiculous amount. You're on your way to three thousand. You're closer to three thousand now. You're not. Yeah, it's a bit stupid, really, the amount of time the time I spent on this. And it's not the sort of thing where he just leaves it on and you, he has played. But let, let's, let's not plus. forget that I have been playing this game since 2012. And pre- previous to that, I was with Mike, Microsoft Train Simulator uh, from about 2009. <laughs> so I've been playing train sims for about 20 years. Which is ridiculous when I look, 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 I just heard myself say that. That's an absolutely absurd. Who the hell plays train simulators for 20 years? <laughs> oh my god. Get a life, man. <laughs> but no, seriously, I, it's. Uh, I, I, I've seen this thing go from really blocky um, basic so five, graphics five engine. to ten frames per second you know to what well, I'm now okay I'm I'm outside and there's a lot going on so I'm looking about 20 frames per second at the moment it's not great but uh, 25 but of course I am streaming and recording at the same time, so... Are you recording it as well, John? Well, it automatically just records and puts it on TV. It just uploads it straight to... Uh, oh, right, right, right. I thought you meant you were thinking. It's a very nice sound train that. It sounds great. This is the passenger view as far as it goes. Look at that, there you go. Oh god, hold on. What was that? An 85, an 85 coming up. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. <laughs> there we go. Weighs 17.25 tons. It's 17.79 meters long and 2.74 meters wide. I don't know what an RA is. And a max speed of 125. So there's your um, there's your stats for that.
Well, our next station's not for another 13 miles, and that's Kokodi. Hmm. The thing is, as much as I love nice trains, there. Tra trains are bloody ridiculously expensive up in Scotland. Oh, they're but ridiculous the heavy travel. you go. That's... Is that? Yeah, it's just... Mm -hmm. Ladybank, we're going through Ladybank. Oh, you're not stopping at Ladybank? We don't stop at Ladybank, we don't stop at Mark Inch. Our next stop is Kirkcaldy. Ah. Nothing quite like that sound. That just that, that. And so I, I could drive these all day, but they don't. They don't make this noise anymore. In the interest nah. of noise pollution and fuel consumption, the Valentas have been retired. I think it's weird. The trains go. Cool. What's it been retired? Well, it's not the trains that have been retired, so it's the engine that's been retired. Ah. So they've been they were replaced with MTU, which is uh, much more fuel efficient and quieter and boring sound. Mm. What was the train Stay that in. you went down to London? Was it London you went to? Uh, I yeah, I went down on. to London. Uh, last year I went down to London mm -hmm. and yeah I got an HSD down there I got one of these nice. the, uh, the MTU engine thing no, all right. so it's uh, quite boring, boring. So what was I the one was... what was the train that I sent to you when I was in the States because that sounded, I'm not going to lie, absolutely ridiculous. That sounded like a Dash 8 or something like that. A Dash 8 or Dash 9. Something like... It was an Amtrak, whatever it was. Mm -hmm. Amtrak. The dual... Um, dual deck train. And it just sounded uh, wild. Oh, they do. They do out there. They don't care. Yeah. They don't care. There's, there's none of this noise pollution rubbish out in America. Mm. Um, just like there's no it's like E numbers or anything like that. So everything tastes better out there because they're not restricted about what oh, they can put in it. God. Um, no one will ever understand how good food tastes over there. Like, and oh, the difference, like food in America it's... is just amazing. Yeah. Okay. So it's full of crap, but it tastes amazing yeah oh god yeah i, I went to the golden Bottle in florida which was an all you can eat buffet no without a wonder why yeah do this jamaican jerk chicken or jamaican street oh, jerk yeah, chicken yeah. or whatever it was oh my god i can eat that all day it was so tasty Oh, I don't know what to play, John. Uh, well, I don't know what takes what what tickles you tonight. Oh. Uh, a moth. <laughs> Can help myself. Uh, I don't know. Alien isolation. I uh, set a course on that. I'm not. I'm not wanting to play a driving game. 
I'm gonna retire my my thing over here because I want to play something you with know, the it's keyboard. A, it's, it's that point where you look at things and you just think, nah. I might play Fish and Bear and Sea. I might start over again. There was just I've I've not played it in a very long time, and sometimes you see when there's been so much. Um, I would say like uh, there's been so much updates, it starts to become like I have no idea where I'm going now, or what it's yeah. doing. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like my summer car. I mean, I'm now at a point where I can't actually do anything in it. Yeah. So I've not, I've not played it for a long time now because, like, am I just going to spend another day bimbling around waiting for the uncle to turn up? Yeah. And I, I think he might have reached the point that he was looking for. Uh, topless gun. Uh huh. It's, it's been working that game. In my view, he's been working that game to see how far he can push it before people stop playing it. Yeah, I think he's won. And I think I think he's reached that point with the uncle thing. And so you can't have the you can't have the van, you can't have the sewage truck. Um. You gotta wait for the uncle to turn up, and the uncle doesn't turn up for weeks. Yeah. And you just think, well, do you know what? I'm done. <laughs> huh. I will go back to it at some point and see if anything else happens, but at the moment, I, I'm, you know, I'm just getting bored of just wandering around waiting for the uncle to appear. Because yeah. there's nothing I can do, and I'm still getting bills. So, if I can't make any money, how am I supposed to pay any bills? Yeah. If I don't pay any bills, the electric gets cut off, the phone gets cut off. If the phone gets cut off, I can't get jobs anyway, so it doesn't matter if I've got the uncle's van or truck or whatever. You know, it. it, it... Mm. Oh, I know. It'd be, it'd be nice if the stream wasn't stuttering quite as much as it is. Yeah. I was doing this on the Euro truck as well. Ah. Uh -huh. I, I I don't know why. Because it's running okay for me. Yeah. But on the stream, it's definitely definitely very frame laggy. Oh, it seems okay. It seems it's it's a wee bit of obviously um thing we but it's it's okay. Stop it. Chewy, how did I get baited lines there? Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure out how to buy stuff. I'm trying to buy. Apparently, buy apparently, they got 
Um, Richard Armstrong from Armstrong Powerhouse. He got access to the HST prototype. Uh huh. Which is the only one left with a Valenta engine. And oh, this, okay. this is where he got these recordings from. Ah. So, I mean, that's pretty cool, really, think about it. It's actually managed to get access to the prototype. The prototype yeah. looks weird as well. It doesn't look anything like an HST. It looks very, very bizarre. Step five braking. And easing off. Too many buttons going needing pressing at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Kakodi, Kakodi is our next station stop. Passengers for Kakodi, please take a moment to have a look around and make sure you haven't left anything of personal interest on the train. Kakodi is our next station stop. <laughs> I'm just going to get a few beers, dude. No, I actually might get my wine. Two seconds. No worries. This is Kirkcaldy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Kirkcaldy. Um, plenty of exciting things happening in Kirkcaldy. Uh, jump off if you want fun. Right away, driver! And I'm back, guys. Take amps and kick it up the backside. Let's go. Oh, that's a glorious noise. Oh. Wow, that's a big glass. Yes. <laughs> I've needed that. <laughs> now this is a glorious noise. This is definitely a glorious noise. That is a very nice noise, so it'll be that.
Hello. Who are you? You've got a very flat face, haven't you? Yes, haven't you, Jeff? And what about you with your square, with, 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 well, with your hexagonal head? Great rovers. Random fire emanating from nowhere at all. That's lovely over there. Look at that view. That's very cool. Where's that? Is I know that it's on the east coast? It's yeah, it's east east coast. Oh, I better slow this thing down. Kinghorn, that's where we are. Ah. I don't remember ever having to go to King Horn on the rail replacement. You hear the traction motors there. The traction motors? Yeah. Because it's diesel electric. You get the electric wow. traction motors going. But you only really hear them when you're going through a tunnel or under a bridge. Ah. I'm catching me fish. Are you catching the fish? What well, time then? You have to gut it as well, would you? Caught I don't thing. know, actually. Because you did in the last one. The last yeah, person. I think you still have to do that.
Oh, I got a lot of fish. 547 kilograms of haddock, and I got 1400 kilograms of pollock. 1950. That's a lot of pollocks you've got there. Jeez. Am I full? You're full. I got one. I'm one kilogram away from full. Oh, coming through Burnt Island. So I got to slow down so much. Oh my goodness. Burnt Island is on a really tight bend, so it's like 35 miles an hour around it. Mm. Do you get the... Nobody ever gets on or gets off at Burnt Island. It's a, it's a weird yeah. place. See, uh, the steam train route from Fort William to Malague, do you get that on this? Uh, I don't know. I might have it. Uh, it'll be part, so that would be it'll very part, interesting. It'll be part of the West Highland Line extension. Mm -hmm. I just thought, I've, I've got that, but I don't know if it's... I would have to look at that, I'd have to see. I do have steam in that sort of area. I've got steam goes across the Glenfiddich viaduct and all that stuff. Uh, that area. Oh. Harry Potter style. Eh? Yeah. So that'd be quite interesting to see the actual route. Because I've, I've driven the route multiple times now. Now it would be quite interesting to see. Okay, we'll get up a look at that. I'm not sure I'll do it on stream because that's, the streams been going on for quite a while now. So it's like <laughs> yeah, I'll probably I'll I'll end the stream when I get to Edinburgh. Uh, no problem. Because what what will happen otherwise is uh, people will go onto YouTube, possibly, maybe. And see, <laughs> six hours. I'm not sitting through that, you know. <laughs> they're, they're all like to sit through how long this has been, but <laughs> you know. Particularly with it stuttering like that. But yeah. I'll have a look at it afterwards. I'll see if I've got that. Next station is Inverkeething. Inverkeething. Is a next station stop in approximately four and a half miles. So in about four minutes time. Oh. It's a it's a beautiful run. This one, though, you've got to say it's been done really nicely. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. I mean, sometimes the Just Trains routes are a little bit sparse and scenery and that sort of thing, and you get weird glitches like floating signals and. Stuff. You find that on the Western Main Lines, 
but not so much now because they've updated it quite a lot since then. But but when I first started playing the Western Main Lines, you had like floating assets all over the place, missing plat oh. missing platforms, just benches hanging in midair and that sort of thing. But I think they've actually worked quite a lot on them. They've, they've sorted a lot of that out. Yeah. that for? What spot? That AWS. <laughs> it's not the signal anyway. It wasn't even the speed change. It's a weirdly random S AWS. Oh right, it was a speed change. It wasn't actually shown on the map. Okay, fine. Fortunately, it's not a career scenario, so I'm not going to lose any points. So there's a 50 coming up. So Inverkeithing is the last station before the fourth rail bridge. Oh, okay, Joe. Cool. Um, so if you've not yet seen, I didn't ask for passing. If you've not yet seen the fourth rail bridge. It's something to behold. I mean, obviously you've seen the fourth bridge. <laughs> In Train Simulator, it really is something to behold. Got a weird feeling I may have gone through a red. <laughs> it would have not have closed down the scenario already though. No, because it's not a career it's not a career scenario. Ah. It'll let you go through them. At your own risk really. But it'll say at the end whether you went through, whether you had a spad or not. Well, I think a, a text box came up just as the signal was approaching, so I, I don't really know. Yeah. It's all worked, and it's all worked out fine. And that's what I tell management. I'll tell the managers. I say, do you know what? It all worked out fine. You know? Yeah, maybe. My my spadded. But you know, no one died. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
train still in one piece. Everyone got home safe. What's your problem? You know. <laughs> We are a little bit early into Inverkeithing, as we said. Let's see what it's given me and what it hasn't. Right. So it gave me Dundee. Didn't give me Lucards. Gave me Cooper. Didn't give me Kakadi. It'll give me Inverkeithing. Then it's Haymarket and Edinburgh Waverley. Oh, not too bad. Can't get on more there then, John. Yeah. Well, I can because it didn't give me Lucas or Kakadi for mm. some reason. But <laughs> I don't know why it didn't give me Kakadi. I must have got there on time because I left. Co I got Cooper on time, so how could I not get Kakadi? Plus the, split, the fact that it kept telling me I was speeding. Well, there is that too, I suppose. Yeah. So how can I not get Kokodi? Oh, yeah, boy. I really should put that into neutral. Stop that going on. <laughs> Is it Waverley or Haymarket? Haymarket is the next stop, and then it's Waverley. I really like this 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 route. Probably because it's so close to home. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You know, the thing is, you could actually see the differences. Yeah. With that, you know, you can actually see, oh, I, I recognise that or whatnot. Yeah. You do, don't you? You really yeah. That signal was green when I went past it. And they, they, they just flick straight to red as you, as you know <laughs> it's past them, and it, which is ridiculous because if you look at a real signal on the real train line, they don't go to red until about at least half of the train of this length is through it. Yeah. Forty coming up. Actually, no, I'm not going to let it roll because I'm going uphill now. So it's going to stop.
approaching the bridge. That'll be the 50. Of course, when this scenario is set, there was no, there wasn't even a thought about the Queen's Ferry crossing. No. I was seriously thinking we'd get in that cooking simulator. Yeah, me too. What are you thinking about? It? Yeah. I might get it, like. I'm really seriously thinking we're getting it because it is really funny. It's, but it looks at things. it's utterly ridiculous, isn't it? I just want to make some really weird concoctions. I might, come what? I might, I might just wing it and just go for it and get it. <laughs> you think comical? I just waved to do AI again. I don't know why. <laughs> I made a lot of money there. Yeah.
What's that? Waving to AI. Are you still doing that? Still waving to AI. As they come past, I'm just raise my hand. It's like, oh, they don't even see me. <laughs> I'm such a driver, it's ridiculous. <laughs> At least in uh, Boss M18 you'll be able to... Like, the, the game does it for you. Yeah, weirdly I never waved to them in, in the same day. <laughs> <laughs> in Boss M18. Uh. Oh. oh, a bit peckish, guys. Are you peckish? I should have um, had my dinner. But I didn't. Unfortunately. And it's always the same when you're having a little swallow of, of, of the grape variety or any sort of alcoholic variety. <laughs> You end up feeling a bit peckish afterwards. I don't know about you, John, but I do. I'm always in the mood for a kebab after that. So I've got people to ask. A kebab. I don't like kebabs. If whoa, that was a big bump. That is something you'll find with uh, Just Train's routes. Is they can be quite bumpy from time to time. Yeah. A lot more bumpy than. Uh, DTG's roots. Yeah. yeah. I'm still. I'm not convinced that was a 75 mile an hour bend. I. I, I think anyone's wine glasses would have uh, slid to the side of their tray at that point. <laughs> Trust me, I've had yeah. the, I've had that on the train. Where you actually have to hold on to your wine glass. <laughs> so the, it doesn't disappear off down the side of the train. Yeah. Though I've noticed since LNER took over from Virgin, that you now need to buy wine. In f even in first class, you still have to buy wine. Yeah, that's pretty. In Virgin, you just got it. It was free. It came round. Do you want some wine? There you go. Have that. And if you're really lucky. A very nice lady would come along and say, uh, Do you want the rest of this bottle? <laughs> and who am I to say no? Yeah, this is very true. I'd be the same, to be honest. But one thing I will say, what used to really irritate me was CM. When we were on British Airways and uh, United Airlines, both of them are free drinks on in, uh, on international flights, but they didn't brag about it. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't know anything about it? No. So after a wee while, I didn't. Obviously, I realised once they were like a couple of times they'd just given me drink, but I was like, oh, it must be that the it must be free with the meals. And then the person next to me was like, oh, uh, can I have a beer, please? There you go. And I was like, uh, yeah, it was like, there you go. I'm like, what? Hold on a minute. What's going on here? I'm buying this like, stuff. <laughs> can I have a, is it possible to have a beer? Like, do you have to pay? She was like, no, no, it's, it's free of charge on international flights. I'm like, what? are you joking? This was after, like, what? two, three or five flights with this company. Because, uh -huh. obviously, we went to Florida with United Airlines. I never knew. And then we had two, three, 
four flights with United when we went to the States. What was your view, what was your opinion of um, United? United? Yeah. I've not had any issues, to be honest. No. Um, I know... Exactly, I've not either. Because I flew out to San Francisco with United. And they're absolutely fine. Yeah. And I've like I say, really I, I don't know if it's maybe somebody's... staff and all that. Um, I think they got a raw, uh, a raw deal on the news yeah. because there, there was that incident uh, and you know like well I never got I never got any bother yeah like you say I've never had any issues with them I've flown with them a few times I think it was it was that Chinese gentleman wasn't it that refused to leave or something because they overbooked the flight well they didn't book the flight and they needed this guy to leave, he, and and well, anyway, quite rightly, he had his seat. Um, yeah. it's I actually like, know his fault that they'd overbooked. Mm -hmm. But we I had an issue. Had that issue. We did have an issue. No, without a word of lie, we did have an issue actually. We um, when we went to Florida with Taylor, my daughter. Yeah. Right. Now we'd paid, we had paid for my daughter's seat, right? Now, she was two, which means that she has to have a seat on her own, right? Oh. Uh, yeah. But, which is fine, oh, which so I'll prove, no longer, I would prefer, it's safer. She's no longer a lap child, is she? No, she's not a lap child. So that's why we had to pay full price, because it's still, it's, you know what I mean, it's the same. Because she'd be a, a child fair, wouldn't you? You'd think there'd be a child. You would fair. think so, but obviously not. Anyway, so long story short, uh, the stewardess came down and she was like, "Excuse me, can you can you put your child on on your lap?" I was like, "No." No. She's in her seat. We've paid for her seat. Uh, no, no, no. She's supposed to be on your lap. I was like, "No, we have paid for her seat." That's why she's got a seat because your company guidelines stated that she had to have a seat. And to be honest, I'd rather have she have a seat. Oh, it's um, um, and she's kind of started a wee bit. And she was oh two seconds, and she went away. And she was away for ages. She must have been away for a good fifteen minutes, which on a flight is quite a long time before we obviously think me. Yeah. Um, the part and I was thinking to myself I bet you any money they've overbooked this flight and they're thinking that they could just put anybody next to me which you wasn't happening see. yeah um, because they do have a, they do that quite a lot is overbooked because they know people will cancel or whatnot. yeah but anyway so she eventually came back and she was like oh it doesn't matter it doesn't matter and I, I, I kind of thought to myself I bet you money she's went back and was like, yeah, they're not going to move. <laughs> We're going to have another incident here. Because I would have stood my ground there at that point because at the end of the day, you have paid a lot of money for this seat. And then they were like, oh, oh yeah. no, because uh, we yeah. have made the mistake of overbooking your seats. We're going to put you, we're just going to take you off the flight then and rebook you. I mean, which wasn't happening. Overbooking is pretty standard with most airlines, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I, I understand They rely, rely on people not turning up. Yeah, and which obviously yeah, does, which happen, does happen. Which I understand. But you, I don't think you can really rely on that, though. No, I, I wouldn't rely on it. Or at least at the point of, okay, our... Our, um... In, no incompetence, but our, um... Stupidity. Our stupidity has now caught up with us and it's, you know what I mean, we can't do nothing here. Instead of them saying, well, no, our staff need to get wherever, it would be a case of, no, I have paid money, you now have to make sure that I am fulfilled as a customer. 
But I think nowadays that's what's the problem is a lot of companies anyway is the fact that um, like companies don't really value the customer the same anymore. I don't know if you're in the same boat as this, but I I believe they don't they don't value the customer as much. No, no, I think you're right there. Because I know, like, I've had a couple of occasions where I went to buy something and I bought it and I came home and you it's looking for the same. You got cooking simulator. I did. <laughs> I had to do it and it's in Nothing the sale. Nothing actually escapes me because it flashes up every time you play a game. I was like, you know what, I'll just, because I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm like mucking around with bloody, I can't even remember what game I was playing there. You know, that, that's, that's pretty ridiculous. I don't even know what game I was just playing. I was literally... You're just playing. No, no, no. <laughs> I've, like, I've had three bottles of beer and half a bottle of wine. Oh, maybe you are fished then. Nah. <laughs> but, um. Welcome to the kitchen. Welcome to Cooking Simulator. As you've yeah. now already noticed, the restaurant you're now employed in does not have the greatest rating. <laughs> Oh, it's going to get worse. So uh, we yeah. now arrived at Waverley. We are now at Edinburgh Waverley Station. We have made it. We've done it. We, we may have speeded a few times and we might have spatted once or so. But uh, we are safe at Waverley. And at the end of it all, isn't that what counts? Didn't we get here safe? Yeah, so don't give me that rubbish. So, <laughs> <laughs> here we are at Waverley, and we're just waiting for. Here we go. Well done. Another driver is here to take over for the journey southwards. Yeah, so so this one's the the driver's now going to take a take this train on to King's Cross. So we're we're not actually going to. Have, um, I don't think this, this was a career scenario, wasn't it? So it's not even scored, so that doesn't actually matter. It's just five out of seven. Yeah, it didn't give it didn't give me uh, Lucas, and it didn't give me what was the other one? It didn't give me Kukodi. Kukodi, yeah. But obviously, it gave me all the others. Yeah, the signal path of danger once. Yeah, I, I had a feeling, I had a weird feeling that I did go past that re a, a red signal when a, a text box popped up and I couldn't see through it. So, <laughs> mind you, at that point I wasn't even, I wasn't even going to stop anyway. Speeding 20 times? Yeah, well, well nah. <laughs> no, I don't. We'll let, the, we'll let that I, slide. I don't actually but... think I was in now. Like one mile an hour over the speed limit is not, in my view, that is not speeding. Uh, eighty-five miles. Eighty-five miles between Dundee and Edinburgh. Oh wow! That doesn't seem right, to be honest. But. It, but okay, well, it says 85 miles. I didn't think Edinburgh was that far. But okay, there we are, folks. And on the extraordinary, extraordinary result, <laughs> it's time to end. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much. Anyone who popped in, anybody who uh, is going to catch this later when it loads up onto youtube if you like what you see remember please to like comment and subscribe 
You also heard Dave from oh. uh, Black Eight Shadow Gaming. Black Eight Shadow Gaming, go ahead and check his channel out. Give him a like, give him a subscribe. Subscription. <laughs> Uh, I would have been streaming yeah. tonight, but like I say, I've got a hole in my face. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. He, he tried to, he, he tried to pop an abscess. It didn't work. It didn't no, no, work. no. I tried to pop what I thought was a spot. Turned out to be an abscess. Yeah, it didn't go well. So that, that's why he's not uh, on face cam tonight. Uh, but <laughs> go ahead. Uh, Head over to Black Eight Shadow Gaming and give him a subscribe. Also, tick the notification bell. Uh, that will notify you each and every time that we upload to our channels. Thank you again very much, guys, for popping in. And I will catch you very soon. And until then... Bye-bye for now. See you later.